Okay, uh, I have to apologize in advance because as you can see, I'm not between the authors of this uh, work. Um, this uh, work was done by uh, a group of uh, researchers and consultants uh, from Chile. Uh, Gabriela Matan Rodrigo, uh, sorry, and uh, Crisol Valadron are from a consul Lean based consulting company, and Rodrigo and Sulay are uh, PhD students. And Luis Alarcón, uh, a colleague of mine, was supposed to be presenting today, but uh, he had a problem at uh, the last minute and he couldn't come to the conference, so he asked me to present. In, in his place. So I'm, I'm really sorry if uh, there are some things that I don't manage uh, too much of, of the research. Um, basically what I'm gonna show you is the work that they did of, uh, for using beam based uh, sheets as a visual management tool uh, for on-site constructions. Basically it's a, it's a case study on, on using these uh, visual instructions on site uh, um, supported by a uh, last planner system to, as a way to, to pull the information that should be contained on, that, on those instructions. Oops. Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure that most of you have seen already the, the graph that is at the, at the right side. Uh, is uh, just a reminder of how bad we're doing in, uh, in comparison with other industries uh, in terms of productivity. You can see there the green light uh, line that's uh, where we are and the blue line uh, uh, the manufacturing industry. And, and of course, um, uh, the productivity is important not, on, not only to get uh, um, uh, benefits from the project, but also to have a sustainable development in, in the projects as, a, as, a, as a, an industry as a, and as a society. Uh, on the other side, uh, also, the projects are getting every time more complex, hmm? and, um, and that higher complexity uh, requires a uh, higher also level of collaboration between the main stakeholders of the project. And something that is very important for the collaboration of, of, the, of the stakeholders is the uh, information flows. So in that sense, um, the information uh, management uh, is something that uh, people is uh, taking a look uh, on. And this is a work that was done by Elaine. I don't know why they didn't put the reference. <laughs> But uh, it's on the paper. Uh, so basically, it's explaining the more uh, the main uh, root causes of the information management problems, and uh, the relation of those uh, causes with uh, with the different type of uh, waste. So as you see, uh, which one is the pointer? There. Um, the main causes are uh, that the mo um, a lot of the information is shared in a non-visual format. And that also, uh, of course, uh, it's, a, it's a problem for uh, customers and designers to, uh, to do the review of the design and uh, of the specifications and in order to, uh, to be able to, um, to make decisions in a timely manner. Uh, and that, of course, uh, creates uh, some waiting time, extra processing times, uh, and also, um, uh, I can read from here. And the utilization of, uh, of the skills of the people that is there because they cannot really achieve what they could do with better information. Uh, another cause of, uh, of information management problems is the scattered information. So we have many sources of information that are available and people have to look for the information in different places. And in, uh, when they are on site, that of course takes time and time is gold. So of course that uh, 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 generates waiting times. And of course also it generates defects because uh, sometimes you look at the information in one place instead of other place, and that uh, uh, generates bad decisions. Mm -hmm. Another cause is the information is non-structured. So that uh, um, basically uh, difficult makes, uh, makes it uh, uh, more challenging for the teams to, uh, to, uh, to reach the information they need because uh, it's not in a simple way to, to just search for it. And again, that, uh, that generates uh, defects and transport uh, waste. And in the last, uh, the last uh, cause that is mentioned in this study is that the, the format of the information uh, on the field is usually uh, paper-based. It's not digital. And that is because uh, uh, um, it's difficult to manage digital information on site. And I'm not talking just the engineer going to site with the, with the tablet, but I'm talking the crews on site. So 
uh, that makes difficult for them to, to manage uh, digital information and uh, that creates, uh, of course, challenges and basically extra movement of the documents that they have to use and to update those documents too. So um, these uh, causes of uh, information management problems there you go, are uh, very related with the traditional workflow that we have on projects where uh, the different design specialties uh, produce drawings and then there, are, there is a detailing process where those drawings are of course refined and there is a 2D coordination uh, cycle if to finally produce the uh, last uh, set of uh, drawings that are delivered, uh, sorry, to construction. So here is what uh, this case study that this group, uh, um, uh, I mean, this is the motivation for the case study that uh, they, they did, where they modify this uh, traditional workflow, introducing visual management uh, um, uh, tools, particularly these uh, uh, visual beam based uh, instructions. So the case study is a hospital project. Uh, this is a healthcare center in Chile that has been growing a lot. If you see here, I don't, I don't know if you can read, uh, but uh, in 1982, when this started, it was just 15,000 square meters. And in uh, last year, it was 237,000 square meters. So it has been growing a lot, this, uh, this uh, uh, healthcare center. And so every year there are projects all the time. And in particular, uh, the case study that they, uh, that they uh, uh, did was based on, a, uh, on, on the kitchen for a hospital, so to produce the, the, the food for the people that is in the hospital. And it, it had to grow from, uh, from uh, sorry, uh, 1,000 square meters to 3,000, so three times the size that it had. And the kitchen had to continue working in the, at the same time. So you had to continue producing food for, for the people that was in the hospital. So you have to uh, um, renovate this place and uh, keep keeping it working. And at the same time, also you have all these restrictions. We're in a hospital, so we have all these pollution restrictions that we have to be very careful not to contaminate food or, or anything. Uh, and also, of course, the time restrictions. So it's a very complex uh, project. So this slide is very busy, but just to tell you that uh, um, what they did was to uh, incorporate BEAM during the design process to uh, facilitate the revisions and the coordination of the design. So that allowed, uh, the, the, allowed the team to uh, have a BEAM model um, uh, ready at the early phase of construction. So the construction company had this beam uh, project already uh, uh, updated. And one thing that I didn't mention before, um, the as-built information was not existent. So they had also to, of course, uh, create uh, or um, uh, capture the information of the, of, uh, of, uh, of the construction that already existed. So this is the, the new process that they, they, they follow. So they have the, f the, the design process where they produce drawings, but also models. And they did the detailing where they, uh, of course, uh, uh, updated the drawings and models. And then they had the uh, 3D coordination process and uh, produce what uh, here the figure mentioned as drawings. Those are the, these uh, beam based instructions. And then they were uh, um, delivered to the construction company. But as you see also, there is a loop here where the construction was uh, producing these uh, pull signals, how they call it, but basically are uh, um, information that details what kind of content uh, has to be in, the, uh, in this visual instruction. So, and that comes from the construction uh, team. And that comes from the phase and uh, look ahead planning in, in the last uh, planner session, um, sessions that they had weekly. So the, those uh, weekly sessions of uh, last planner uh, produce these pull signals that feed the, build, the beam uh, process to produce the, the, the visual uh, uh, instructions. Hmm. Well, that's just a comparison of the two, of the two process. So Another way to see this process uh, is that um, these uh, attendance, attendees or, uh, of the weekly last planner meetings, uh, they produce these pull signals 
and the integrated design team produced the beam model. And then uh, the, the beam team uh, had to uh, analyze those signals and uh, validate uh, or um, sometimes modify the model in order to produce the beam instructions, mm -hmm. the beam based uh, instructions. That's uh, the, the, the instructions there. And of course, sometimes the, the model had to be updated. Uh, so the construction team could uh, use those uh, beam based instructions in the field and the design team also had the updated model uh, in order to do more analysis. Sorry, ah, pull signal, sorry, uh, as I mentioned before, pull signal is just a way that they call uh, the document that identifies the information that has to be contained in the uh, beam base uh, instruction. So it's pulled because the construction is telling you what information they need. It's not something that is produced ahead of time like a, a, as a part of the, of the GAN chart, like saying, oh, I should produce an instruction with this content. It's more like the construction itself is telling me, you know, next, uh, tomorrow I'm gonna do this work, so I need this information. And with that, it's pulling the information that should be contained in the, in the in instruction. Mm -hmm. So this, uh, is, this is basically how, how an instruction look like. Um, you see it's basically uh, graphic information, uh, plan, uh, plants, uh, elevations, sections, 3D uh, views uh, with uh, color, base, uh, color code uh, to, in order to represent the information that they need. What are the results of, uh, of, of this case study? Basically they, uh, they saw that the, that the number of RFIs that was uh, produced in that project was significantly uh, smaller than in, in, in the regular projects. Remember that this clinic is all the time doing projects. I mean, every year is doing at least two, three projects, uh, renovation projects. So it's something that they do regularly. And compared with that, uh, with those projects, they reduce the number of RFIs considerably. Also, um, they find, uh, they, they made a, a, a interviews in, the, in this uh, extended uh, team that is uh, basically the designers, the users, um, the people from uh, from maintenance in the in the in the in the clinic, uh, the construction, uh, and the owner. Uh, and these people uh, said that, uh, um, in general, uh, all of them considered that was very positive. Sixty-seven percent of them uh, considered that the beam uh, uh, instructions. Uh, were fundamental in order to communicate uh, the information to the field. So it was the main means of communication to the field. Also, uh, it's very hard to read from here. Well, basically it's repeating the sa uh, thing that, uh, that um, the, the pool signals were, uh, were uh, very useful or, or needed to in order to define the content of the instructions. Also, 76% uh, of, the, of the people interviewed uh, stated that the use of the sheets was decisive, de uh, decisive sorry, in, in order to save uh, time in the field. That was one of the big problems, the time, that, uh, the time that they were using in the field in order to get answers about the uh, design information. And 46% 46, 46 sorry, uh, um, of the, of the interviewees said that they had interacted directly or, uh, with the model uh, in some occasion um, to re, uh, resolve conflicts uh, in this study. So if you see, in general, they are very good uh, numbers. Uh, they, this was a very uh, small case study, but, uh, but it showed that, uh, that they had good results. Uh, the perception of all the stakeholders was very positive. And, uh, and in, in basically, they, they uh, I think it's the last one. Uh, the most important maybe result is that they achieved the, the time uh, uh, deadlines. That, that's something that was not very typical in their project. So that was a change for them. <laughs> Oops. So the main conclusions, let's keep one. The main conclusions is that the, the use of these uh, beam uh, instructions, beam based instructions or the instruction sheets, uh, it, by themselves, they don't, do not guarantee that they we're gonna get these results. Uh, there was a perception that it was the, the joint uh, effort of the instruction itself as a tool, but also the collaborative uh, work that was based on Lean, 
all these uh, last planner sessions that allowed them to produce these uh, pool signals, uh, which m really made the difference. So it was uh, much stronger, the, the impact that they could make if they combined those two. And uh, time is up, uh, the use of these cheat, uh, cheats directly address uh, uh, the root causes of the, of the information management problems that I mentioned at the beginning. So the transport, the delay, uh, waiting times, and, uh, and the, um, um, the defects uh, of the design. So with that, well, those are the things and the reference. Thank you very much.